Hey guys, it's Saturday. Um, just out running some errands this morning. Uh, booked our trip a lot yesterday to go to San Francisco, and it looks like we're going 15th to the 19th. So it'll be Friday through Tuesday. And I'm excited. And something you may not know about me is I'm an over planner. So I have a tendency to look up a bunch of stuff that I want to do beforehand. And so far, I've found a few places here and there. I haven't really made any reservations for anything. Uh, we're going to get a, uh, what they call a city pass, which lets us on all the municipal transportation. Unlimited rides. I think it's for seven days, even though we're going to be there for five. And then it allows us to go into the Modern Museum of Art, which theirs is going to close in June to get renovated and it's going to be closed for like two years, for a year. And um, so I want to go check that out. And then um, it gives us a pass to the aquarium. So definitely going to go check that out. And then we get like a one hour cruise that goes into the bay and goes underneath um, the Golden Gate Bridge which sounds like a lot of fun. No, I'm not much of a boat person. I mean, when I was a kid, I'd get on my, my dad's little bass boat. And I've been on some other boot, boats, some pontoon boats and stuff, but I'm not a, I'm not a, a really that much of a boat person. It even kind of like freaks me out a little bit when we used to go to Galveston and we'd go over to uh, Bolivar Peninsula and take the ferries over. And a lot of times I would just stay in the car. Probably the first few times I did, and then after that I started getting out and walking around. So we'll wait and see on that. And then today I have to order our Alcatraz tickets because those sell out really quick. And that's pretty cool. You get to, they basically take you to Alcatraz by boat, and then you get to go around and uh, I think. If I remember right, they have a tour thing that you download on your iPhone, which is really cool. And so we're going to bring headphones, and then that kind of gives you a walking tour. That, that's kind of like what they do for Graceland in Memphis. We went a few years ago, and that's similar to what they do, except there they hand you like this little, it's nearly like a little digital Walkman thing. It's pretty cool. That way you can start and stop whenever you want to. You don't have to like run through the place. You can take your time looking. So there's some, mostly what I found so far are restaurants. And then there's some slides that I found that I did not know about. Cause I've been twice before, but the first time I went, the guy I went with couldn't do a whole lot. He had just had major knee surgery. Uh, he had torn his MCL and his ACL. So him and I didn't get to go do a lot of stuff. We did as much as he could before he just got wore out and we had to call it a day. But we did a lot of driving and went up and down the coast and had a lot of fun. The second time, I would only got to spend just a few hours on my way to Santa Rosa and on my way back because I'd flown into San Jose instead of Sacramento, because there's nothing up there. I mean, I wanted to go through San Francisco and all that and go have some fun. So I'd flown in on a Sunday and done that and then flew out on a Saturday and was able to go and do some stuff in San Francisco. But this time we're just in San Francisco. And so it's not me just spending a few hours or just one day like I did the first time I went. So we're not renting a car, which I kind of wanted to because I wanted to go to Santa Cruz. I love Santa Cruz and I wanted to go to uh, Monterey, but I think what we're gonna do is save that for another trip and go back, depending on how this trip goes. We'll have to wait and see. And right now I'm going to the bank to deposit a check. So anyway, I, like I said, I'm a over planner. And so I've planned the crap out of vacations in the past. And I'm trying not to be so bad about it this time. Um, you know, it just, it's one of those things where 
I want to make sure that we have as much fun as possible. And to do that, I feel like I have to um, I have to plan a lot of what we do that way sorry guys that way we're um, having fun the whole time I mean we always have fun when we go places we went to Chicago in 09 I think it was and um, we had so much freaking fun and did a lot of stuff and so that was one of the best trips I've ever been on and that one I did some planning but I left some of it to chance and it actually worked out because there was stuff I didn't know about that we could go do um, like there up in Chicago their um, zoo and everything is free so we got to go do that and we got to go do some other stuff so let me do this deal at the bank and then I'll tell you a little bit more about what's going on okay so done at the bank um, just a few updates on stuff and then I'll talk a little bit more about my trip the editing rig is done, ready to go. I just don't have a place to put it just yet. So I gotta get in and I'm gonna, I don't know that I'm gonna get to it this weekend to clean up my desk area to, to put it up. Uh, I really need to get that done so I can get that thing rolling and start editing these videos. But I'm hoping to have it done before we go to San Francisco. Wait, when I get back, I can post some um, extra footage probably what you'll see while we're gone is mostly me posting from my iPhone because they just updated the YouTube app to allow me to do that and then upload directly to my channel so you'll probably see some like that we're, we're not taking a laptop so the only thing I'm gonna have is just my Android tablet so I may try to do some footage that way but processing power wise I don't think I'm gonna be able to do much I think it's gonna be too slow and I'm not sure even if we're gonna have internet in the room at this point so you know big fancy hotels charge you a lot of money and don't let you have internet access makes no sense anyway and I think us actually going to the YouTube headquarters is probably not gonna happen and the reason I say that is that even though I want to go, I really, really, really want to go. I think it'd be so much fun. There's the only public transportation that gets anywhere near the place is the BART system. And we'd have to pay to ride the train nearly all the way back to the airport and then get off and walk several blocks to go and then walk back and get back on the BART and ride it all the way back into San Francisco and it's just too much. If there was, you know, light rail or something, something different, because I think the BART is just a, an actual train. It's been, a, it's been a while since I've been there, so. But uh, it's just kind of a hassle since we don't have a car. So maybe the next time we go, if we, if my wife likes this trip and she likes San Francisco and she wants to go back, Maybe the next time we go when we rent a car, um, I can drive down there and go check out their place and go um, to Santa Cruz and Monterey and all that. Because that's what I wanted to do, but we really need to be there like a week to go do all that. Because I did all that stuff in like a weekend and a half. Um, the first time we went, we went to San Francisco and then uh, for one day and then we took off and went to um, the next day we went to Monterey we stayed in Santa Clara the first time it was for work and then went from there so um, but anyway I'm excited about the trip uh, I think we're gonna have more than enough to do um, 
I found some really cool places that I didn't get to go last time. Like there's a fortune cookie factory and we could not find the stupid thing last time. And it aggravated me and aggravated me and come to find out we ate at a restaurant that was basically in front of it and we didn't know. So now that I know where it is, we're definitely going there. I mean, 100% for sure we're going there. And then there's a bakery that's there that's supposed to be like the best in Chinatown. And we're going to go there. And of course, we'll go to the shops and stuff like that and look around. Because that was fun. I did that last time too. And that was a lot of fun to see all the crazy stuff. So we're definitely doing that. We're definitely going to ride um, the cable cars. I mean, we're going to spend probably a good portion of our time on the uh, cable cars because a lot of what is really cool in San Francisco you can get to by cable car. So we're staying in Union Square and then we can get on, I think it's just right past the hotel is a stop for the cable car and we can just get in, get on and ride the thing around. We just have to get on the right line. Um, and what's funny is that I've talked to people before that have never been to San Francisco. And they think the cable cars run everywhere, all over the city, and they really don't. There's really only, I think, two that run. And then there's trolleys that have the, the lines that run above, the electric lines that run above. And I've never gotten on those, and we're going to try those too because they look like fun. But the cable car, there's a line that runs nearly parallel to the other one and then it goes down to Fisherman's Wharf or to one end of it and then the other one goes to the other end but that one comes all the way up and loops around that's the one that's closer to the hotel and that's the big one but it's not like there's you know this big huge network of cable cars it really isn't it's I, it's either two or three lines that run downtown I don't remember for sure but of course there's multiple cable cars. What's cool though is getting on at Ghirardelli Square because that's where they do the turnaround. So they bring the thing down, drop people off, and they drive it onto this turnstile and it's this big concrete plate and it turns all the way around so that it can start heading the other direction. And if you get on there, you end up going up the tallest hill and you can see all of the Bay Area from the back of that thing. It's crazy, it's kind of scary you think god if that cable fails we're screwed but they have brakes so i mean they would just lock on the brakes and have everybody get off but anyway so we're gonna definitely do that and there's some other stuff that i'm interested in going to do it's just a matter of doing research but one thing i've i've learned on trips is that if you stay at a really good hotel go ask somebody at the hotel where they would go like say you get up one morning and say hey i'm you know where's the best local place to get breakfast you don't want touristy places i i, I can eat chilies here um i can eat applebee's and red lobster and crap like that i want local places and i found a few that are really 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 cool that i want to try and why that's sad because that's like the whole, that's what I've done for this whole trip. Mostly what I've done is found restaurants. That's just me though. That's, I, I love to eat great food. And so San Francisco has tons of it. So that's what I'm hoping that we can find a bunch of really good places to eat. And I found a breakfast place that they have breakfast that they serve all day and they also serve lunch. So I think what we're going to do is go during, we may end up going twice because I wanted breakfast, but then I started looking at their sandwich list and they make an authentic, a real authentic Monte Cristo. Not the Bennigan's version, the real version, which is where it's the smoked turkey, honey baked ham. Um, they put a, a soft cheese and a hard cheese on. And then they batter it in an egg batter and they grill it, they don't deep fry it. And so that's, that actually, I, and I've, I've heard of them and I've heard, and I've had the deep fried ones, but they say the grilled ones are so much better. They're less greasy, 
you know, the deep fried ones like eating a big pile of grease. So um, I'm overly looking forward to eating a Monte Cristo that's done the right way. Um, the other thing that they kind of, that's kind of a thing that everybody in San Francisco does is the, um, the chowder and the bread bowls. And the only time I did it was in Monterey on their little boardwalk and it was so good. But everybody says in San Francisco not to do it out on the wharf, go to the farmer's market, which is actually on a pier and it's this big huge building and they have a place that makes fresh gelato and fresh pastries and you can buy, you know, if we were staying in a place where we could cook, I would be going there because they have all these fresh ingredients and it's supposed to be so good. But um, somebody said that there is a place in there that sells the bread bowls, the sourdough bread bowls, and a um, their chowder is amazing. And so I'm definitely going to go check that out. And so uh, if you guys have any recommendations, leave them in the comments because I'll try pretty much whatever. I'm not a real picky eater when it comes to eating stuff. I pretty much eat anything. Um, but I definitely want to try some really good places. And there was an Italian place that I found that's like in this little area. And um, they say to, you know, get there early and get a seat outside, which is the best way because uh, the inside's like really crowded. And the outside is a lot of people watching. And they said it's really fun. And um, I think the most expensive dish on their menu is like $19, which is actually really cheap for San Francisco. So we're definitely going to try that but you know i'm gonna uh, i'm not going to plan out the eating too much because i want it to be spontaneous and i also want to be able to um, talk to hotel staff and say hey, where do you guys recommend you know you live here in san francisco you know if you had the day off and you were just screwing around in chinatown which chinese place would you go to because if they've eaten chinese food in chinatown i'm sure They've eaten more than one place and they know what's good and what's not. Plus they hear from other guests and stuff. So um, definitely going to rely on that and then other like cool stuff to go do. And we're going to go walk the Golden Gate Bridge, which I'm not. I want to do it, but my vertigo and stuff like that, I don't know how far I'm going to get. So I've driven across it and it was fine and no problems. Um, I just don't know about walking out there and if it's super windy. Um, and then my wife said, well, we could rent bikes and go across it. And I was like, <laughs> I'm like, you know, the rails aren't that high. So, you know, as tall as I am, that that's one of those things that freaks me out. If the rails were a lot taller where there's no way for me to get blown off of it. I'd be fine. But you know, it's always that fear that I have that the wind's going to pick me up as big as I am and toss me off a bridge. But it could definitely happen. And um, I'm going to try to vlog as much as possible while I'm there and video a lot of stuff for you guys to see. But I probably won't be able to post most of it until we get back and I can edit it down. But um, I, like I said, I'm definitely going to do updates. I may do some... Um, I haven't done much stuff with Vine on Twitter. So follow me on Twitter because I'll do some Vine stuff while I'm out there. And then... Um, and that's the other place, if we get a chance, um, I may see if we can go to Twitter. Because Twitter's got a big, huge place in San Francisco. And I'd love to go check that out. You know, that's not stuff that my wife's interested in. It still would be fun to go and see. But, like I said, there's no guarantees that that's going to happen. So, it depends on, you know, how much time we get there and what we end up finding to do. And what we, there may be something that we do one day that we love and we want to go do it again. So... But I know that we're going to do a lot of walking. I did it before and wore me out. And we're going to be doing five days of it. So anyway, um, you guys have a great Saturday. I'm going to try to do a bike vlog, but it's super windy and super cold today. I think the high is going to be 60. Um, that and I need to give it to Austin today to go buy a chicken feed. So I don't think I'm going to have a bike vlog today. I'll probably try to record one tomorrow and put it on. So anyway, you guys have a great day. Um, Make sure you tell people to come watch my channel. Even if they watch one video, story video or something, and they like it, they can hit the like button or subscribe. I got more stuff coming. We are doing a story channel. Uh, I got to get that set up probably tomorrow. 
and I'll start putting my stories on there and I'll probably do one or two a week and then this will just be my daily vlog and what I'll be doing is filming on my way to work and my way home and then I'll edit it that night and try to upload it so anyway you guys have a great Saturday um, Make sure you subscribe, thumbs up, hit me up on Twitter, and I will see you guys tomorrow.